Albrecht. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it but the chemicals themselves were inert not explosive well it appears to have made a pretty big boom i'll see what i can piece back together I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. I need to know what caused the explosion. Thank you. 
scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Okay. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skyline Club. connect this man's been badly burned but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull incinerary bullets Sensors yep. say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. You know what? Hold on. That bullet.
find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone, you're leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same... and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. for a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. Killing time. What's that stuff? You're probably going to try to... the right spot. So where did he here? Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Falcone! Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! Talk, and I spare you an ambulance ride. The police won't offer the same. Not to a cop killer. Rather chance them than talk to a clown like you! <laughs> you trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. Ugh. 
true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Tell me. The catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive that had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals are some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Falcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear, I swear. I told you everything I know. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Tried to kill me. Who? Who tried to kill you? The bad man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you, you this beat way. beat him half to death, technically. And neither did I. Look, I did what you had to, but at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy. Why the hell would you tear the tickets up? That'd be some crazy shit. Don't tell. Lie, don't lie. It's a family heirloom. Well, back into the fray again.
Ow, fucking Koenig. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... ...more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Hmm. Oh, well, golly. We could clear our name with Gordon. Doesn't really do too much. I say Valley because since the media already has all this out there, I guess it'll kind of balance out his name but gordon is kind of like you know I'm, I'm, i might as well flip a coin my damn self like that's matter of fact that's exactly what we're gonna do like we're gonna flip a coin we're gonna flip a coin so his decisions here we go with valet Heads. okay heads we go with commissioner gordon tails we go with valet all right flip heads we're going with commissioner gordon I kind of wish I would have a live feed so we could see, actually see this. I'm with Commissioner Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. 
You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. You gotta understand, I'm bound to this badge. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant. Hey, stick to Jim. Mm. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for Why does it look like party. Yo, anybody remember the Wolf Among Us? Why does it look like an alleyway in the Wolf Among Us? Even though it's not still, it just reminded me of it. Surprisingly enough, there are literally no other cars on the street. And Skyline Club. Perfect 10. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh, <laughs> you're cute. So, uh, are you a mom? Not anymore, I'm not. Yo, somebody got jungle fever. You make your rounds? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burns powder at night. The whole city can smell it. floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Nothing here. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down.
<laughs> no, that's it. That's the plan. Yeah, Oh, this guy, all right. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. No, 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 Batman. Yaga. Hey, what the hell? I thought I... I did that last time, it didn't work. The chemicals. 
Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to leave you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead best. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal, because I did not make that mess at the dock. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Give him a show. I'll be walking. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Why the hell would they open fire on him? He wasn't even attacking him. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. Wayne even refused to go on record when asked to defend his family's legacy. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Mm. Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, oh man. Oh, I really can't wait for episode 20. <laughs> episode 2, I mean, coming out on the 20th. Oh, man. That is one hell of an ending. Oh, man, that's one hell of an ending. 
his family could possibly be. I'm sharing this. Family could possibly possibly be in the mall. But Telltale Games did a good job, man. Oh man, oh wow, I can't even do that. You posted to Facebook. Screw you, man. Oh, ain't got that way to do it. We'll do it the other way. How about that? But there. Oh, like that man. That man decisions. Oh man, that was so good. Dude, I don't even know what to say. They even... see what happens next time. And they built suspense for that. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker. I wonder if Alfred had anything to do with them being involved with the mob. That'll be a plot twist right there. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Mm. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. I wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... to distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Think, man, that was a cliffhanger. But Telltale Games kind of outdid themselves on this one. I can't wait to see what episode two is like. I I really can't wait. It's only gonna be out in a couple more days, man. It's a good thing I got the season pass. And every game I've played from Telltale Games have been A plus, man. I, and they seem to outdid themselves with this one. Man. I can't wait to see what's next. Oh uh, man, good first episode though. Very good first episode. Really got me wanting to play episode two, man. They did a good job. Shout out to Telltale Games, man. They did this. Oh, man, that was good.